Thank you, Mr. Roker. 36 degrees, partly sunny sky out there. Nice looking morning, and the wind has settled down quite a bit, too. Storm track shows a couple of systems, both for the most part are going to miss us. One going off to the south, one going up to our north. It's this one up to the north that may clip us with a little bit of light rain later tonight or to tomorrow morning. Maybe a little ice well north and west. Forecast today, though, sun giving way to clouds, mild at 45. That light rain moves in later tonight, maybe a mix north and west, 38. It all ends quickly tomorrow morning, partly sunny in the afternoon, 48, 42 Wednesday. Another round of rain or snow showers Thursday, then clearing on Friday in the upper 30. And for our second 50 years, we got another group of stars starting to get ready to watch the show. All right, let's head back inside the map. All right, Al, thank you very much. Right now, we're worried about our troops over in Afghanistan. Well, 50 years ago, American soldiers were halfway around the world fighting another battle. Let's take a look at how it was handled on today back in 1952. I'd like to tell you just a little bit about what you're going to see on today in the next half hour. I'd like to tell you, first of all, that you're going to get records and the time with your morning coffee. And you're going to have a visit with a family here in New York who will be looking at their son in Korea. That's all coming up in your way in the next half hour. Now here's Dave Garraway. Now those guests he referred to were the first ever to appear on the Today Show. A few days before that first broadcast, a family here in New York spoke to their son, a soldier in Korea, by phone. An NBC cameraman in Seoul recorded it on film and sent it back to the U.S. Hello, Mom. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? When are you coming home? I'll be home soon, Mom. Don't worry about it. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, Mom. The family then came to our studio to watch the film of that call alongside Dave Garraway. The young soldier from that film, his brother, and one of his sisters whom you heard on that tape are back here again live in the studio after 50 years. Mickey and Bill Sinnott, Marjorie, Marge Ald, good morning. Nice good to morning. see you all. You've already got tears in your eyes. <laughs> we just started. <laughs> Mickey is a nickname, correct? Yes. Your real name's yes. Daniel, which, which meant we had a little trouble tracking you down over the last yes. several months. Yes, the, you were looking for Mickey Sinnott. And uh, uh, what happened, you got a hold of my sister-in-law, and she says, well, my uncle, uh, uh, we have a Mickey. And then my sister-in-law called me, and I sa she said, I think... It's a phony call or something. It sounds like a hoax. <laughs> and uh, she says, but if you want to follow it up, so I says, oh, no, that, that's me. I said, I know what they're talking about. You were fighting in Korea. Yes. Had been on the front lines. They came and got you and said, look, you're going to be part of a, of a television show. You didn't know much more than that, did you? No, no. I was on the front lines, and we were up there for about eight days. I didn't bathe or anything, and they just said, come on. Uh, you got to go back to Seoul. So when I got back to headquarters platoon, the first sergeant looked at me, he said, boy, we got to put some stripes on you. He says, so with safety pins, they put the sergeant stripes on. You gave you a shave and a shower? No, no. No? No, I went back. I had to hop in the Jeep, and I went back to Seoul, and we asked the MP for directions to the general's headquarters, and he looked at me, and he says, what the heck is going on here? So I said, uh, I have to go to the general's headquarters. He says, you better shape up. you got 24 hours. Marge, what do you remember about your, your family heading to the television studio that day to take the call from your brother? Oh, it was like, you know, my mother was very excited. We didn't think we would talk to him for a long time. And uh, I guess they sent us a telegram because nobody had a phone or a TV at the time. And uh, it was very, very exciting. Bill, you were, what, about a year, year and a half old at the time, so you don't remember much about the actual day, but what has your family told you? What stories did you hear about this event as you were growing up? Um, that we were on TV, you know, <laughs> a long Big, time ago. Famous in the neighborhood? <laughs> yeah. So I took it like everyone else with a grain of salt, like, yeah, sure, we were on TV. You know? Mickey, when you listen to the call, your mom and dad were very emotional people. Yeah. Your mom was obviously crying. She was so worried about you. Your dad broke up as well because he was concerned and he said, son, when you come back, we're going to go on a fishing trip. And I know it was hard for you to listen to that in Seoul as well. Yeah. Yes. It, 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 it broke me up too, but, but when, we did get, when I did get home, we did go fishing. And it was, uh, we had a good time. Your folks passed away along with some of your siblings as well over these years. The tape of that or the film of that day was lost. Is that right? Yes. 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 We had the film of me uh, in Korea, 
and it was 16 millimeter. And when uh, Stephanie, the producer, when I got in touch with her, I says, we have the film. And she says, oh, that's great. Marge, what would it mean to your parents to know that 50 years after that date, the three of you are sitting back uh -huh. on live television? My mother would have been so proud of all of us. And she really, uh, that was one thing in her life that you did for her. You really made her feel wonderful. It was really a wonderful, wonderful thing you did for her. She just, you know, to see his son. And she had two boys. She had one in the uh, Navy and one in the Navy. Uh, and it was, Dave Garraway was just the most wonderful person in the world to us that day that I remember. Well, we want to thank you all for coming. We're happy you made it back from Korea safely. And I, yes. We're yeah. awfully happy that you joined us again 50 years after the date. And you know, you had five people that were supposed to be on, and three died before the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mickey, Marge, Bill, thank you all very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. you. Happy anniversary to you as well. It's 11 past the hour. Up next, Ken Burns look back, looks back at 50 years of today right after this. Hello, Mom. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? When are you coming home? I'll be home soon, Mom. Don't worry about it. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, Mom. Okay, it's uh, Jimmy. Hello, Meg. Who's that, Jim? Yeah. How you doing, Jim? All fine. When do you expect to go back? Oh, three more days. Who else is with you? Dick, Pat. Marge, Pop, here's Pop now. Hello, Mick. Hello, that you, Pop? Yeah. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm fine, Pop. When are you coming come, come, come home? Because we've got to go fishing, you know? <laughs> I'll be home soon, Pop. I'll take you up on a date fishing. All right, here's Dick. Hello, Mickey. Yeah, that. What, that you, A.P.? Yeah, that's me. Everybody is so excited, and I am too. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Oh, golly, what an exciting day. <laughs> you want to talk to Marge? Yeah, let me speak to Mom. Bob? Hello, Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Hello, this is... I'm Mickey. How are you? That you, Marge? Yeah. Hi. Right. Here's Pat. Hello, Mickey. Mickey. Hello, Mickey. Yeah. When are you going to come home and see your nephew? I'll be home soon. Well, you better because he's getting big now. What at you, Pat? Mm-hmm. How's Artie? <laughs> he's okay. Hello, Billy. Hello, Mom. How are you? Fine. How are you? Very good. That's good. Are you going to be over there much longer? I don't know. It all depends upon everything of Pam and John. Okay. Is Mary there? Mary, Raymond, and Ruth. John's gone back, I presume, right? What? Has John gone back? Johnny was home for Christmas, and he's going down to Georgia on the 20th. He thought maybe you'd to? be uh, home in time to see him, but you weren't. No, well, I'll catch him down in Georgia sometime. Sure you will. Listen, Mary, thanks a lot for writing and everything. I didn't get a chance to write much in uh, December. I went to Japan on TDY, but I'll pen a letter as soon as I get back. Okay, fine. Billy, this is Ruth. How you doing, Ruth? 
fine. Did you get the gloves and the sweater? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. Give my regards to Joe Haley, will you please? I hope you'll be home very soon. So do I. Hello, Bill. This is Ray. How you doing? Pretty good. How's the women? As long as you hurry up home and... I'll listen, I'll buy some tickets for that CCNY St. John's game. I don't think I'll make it. <laughs>